So, uh, we're in, in late September 2022. I just finished this game, Pikmin, for the first time in my life. This game is from the year 2001. Now, I remember playing this game in 2001. It was virtually a launch title for the GameCube back in 01. Now, as a young boy, I mean, I was what? I was like 10 years old, nine years old in 2001. And uh, I remember playing this and I remember being so intrigued by it. The music, the soothing elements, um, and the very, very unique story and gameplay and structure of the video game. But I would always find myself losing interest in the game maybe after like the first or second level because it was it just kind of grew complicated and it was frustrating it's a frustrating game because not only do you have to like strategize and fight certain enemies in certain ways but on top of everything there is a time limit to each level now if you don't fully understand the game if you don't fully understand that you can that you're really supposed to like go scouting first then after you scout you can go back again and go through the levels and execute your plans it's going to be difficult and almost impossible to beat this game um like if you try to play this as a regular video game where you just save uh you get tired and you like i'm just gonna go back and then save again Every time you save, you're wasting an entire day in the game. And according to the video game, you only have 30 days to beat the game. I only have 30 days before. I'm... In other words, you only have 30 saves. <laughs> I don't think you can save without using up a day. So you have 30 saves. And it's like, damn, well, how do you want me to beat this game in 30 I'm one of those people that loves to save a trillion times throughout playing the game. You know what I mean? because we don't always have all day to sit down and play a game. But anyway, that's the beauty about this game right here. Uh, you know, the time limit, the strategy that it requires, the, the use of thought and intelligence, it's just fantastic. Here's the manual for it. And you know, when the manual is, is probably extremely important to have, you need to own the manual, if not a strategy guide, or go online for help to beat this game. Um, well, not really to beat it, because I beat the entire game without any help, except for the last boss. Ugh, that last boss. I needed YouTube for it. <laughs> so anyway, so I played it as a kid. Uh, I think, I believe I owned it, but I never beat it, and it was just like, ah, I just can't do this, so I got over it years passed and then I was in like in the year 2018 I was like all right screw it I'm gonna get into it again so I bought it or maybe it was in 2018 I don't remember when so I got it again and I tried playing it again and I couldn't get into it again second time it was like oh first second level and I was just like eh then I saw the Nintendo Direct for 2022 and um they revealed that they're going to be releasing Pikmin 4 in summer of 2023, which is next year. And I was like, oh shit, they're already going to release part four. I haven't even beaten part one <laughs> or part two or part three. And part one and two are hidden gems that are no longer available um, on modern devices. Like you, if you have a Nintendo Switch like myself, you cannot play the Nintendo you can't play Pikmin and Pikmin 2 on the Nintendo Switch. You can play Pikmin 3 and Part 4. And I'm the kind of guy who needs to play them in order. You know what I mean? Um, so I had to go retro. Had to go online. Find me a really nice copy of the game. Got me a Nintendo Wii. And I finally, finally beat this game. I got all 30 parts, I think, in like 20 three or 24 days I don't remember I tried squeezing in two parts per day as, as best as I could um, but yeah one of the strongest techniques that I needed to use that I learned in reading in a guide 
or some comments on YouTube is that you need to scout the level first before you start taking action and before you start using your Pikmin and going through and doing actions. You need to go throughout the entire level, memorize it, plan it. Then finally, then uh, you just, you know, end the day and go back and start the day brand new again, ready to execute your plan. Because if you just run through your 30 saves like nothing, you're gonna run out of time. And I really like that the fact that I think they made it where you don't have to collect every single piece to successfully beat the game. I think you, there's a few pieces that are just like, uh, you only need a minimum of 25 or something like that instead of the full 30. Yay, I beat the game for the first time. You guys are seeing the credits as I beat it. I'm so happy. Um, but yeah, I just want to talk about how now at the age of 29 next month or in about one month and a half, I'll be turning 30 years old. I finally, um, um, I finally have this game beaten. This game's from my childhood. I love it so much. The GameCube changed my life. And it will always be my favorite console no matter what. I'm playing it on the Wii um, with an aftermarket controller because authentic vintage pieces are pricier and harder to get nowadays. But this game is genius. It is so genius. I can't wait to play part two. Can't wait to play part three. And oh my lord, I can't wait to play part four when it comes out in the summer, next summer. So yeah, guys, thanks for watching my video. Uh-oh, the game disc could not be read. It's like I give up, I let you play me. Now stop abusing them. Uh, might have to get a new disc, but I played the entire game on this disc. Anyway, guys, I loved Pikmin. I give it a 10 out of 10 for creativity. Uh, just that last boss, maybe a 9.5 out of 10 because that last boss, I could not have beaten it without YouTube. And I don't know if YouTube was even up and running in 2001. Maybe it was. All right, guys. Have a great day.